there they're screwed by right now, they're screwed by the point. We got them on that one, Curtis. Beauty. Oh yeah, we're loaded. These were the bait of choice. Nice, fresh mullet, ready to be cut and offered to our unsuspecting foe. It wasn't long before the bait runner told us there was something really big on the business end of our rod. This guy's weird. And as it towed us headlong into a stiff breeze and a strong incoming tide, it was big. Yeah, Curtis, we're gonna have to go after him. Right. I got quite a bit of line left, but. Three feet under the water. Wow. Funny little jump right there. Yeah, the line jumped on the spool. Whether it came across a fin or a Little did we know, the hook slipped out of his jaw and Fowl hooked him in the fin. Big boy. Hey, next time, Curtis, let's go bluegill fishing, all right? Okay. This is too much like work. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> now you know why I like it back there instead of up here. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Curtis. I'm having a great time watching you fight this fish. He's a pretty uh, nice one. There he goes. That that bay that we were in right there, I was pulling down it with a customer. The guy's name was David Rundle. We were fly fishing. Pulling down the bank. 
Next thing I know, I feel this don't don't zip. And I looked at my hands and the push pole's gone. David turns around and says, Oh, you are back there on the platform. And I said, Yeah. And I held my hands up in the air. He says, Where'd your stick go? <laughs> I looked back behind me, about a 10 foot bull shark was chewing on it. <laughs> Use yeah. it for a toothpick. They, they, they are attracted to push pole. Oh hands my to. God. I don't know what it is with a push pole, but I don't know. It must be this that vibration with it thudding on the bottom. They want to eat it. Yeah. Oh, much better. Thank you, sir. I have another. That's it. Hi, Curtis. This is a big shark right here, man. This is a big one. They pulled it. Tip a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's 250, 300, easy. See you later, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more Tales of the Everglades Angler. Wow, what a shark! Because when he's trying to go, with me having lines out, Playing right? Yeah. Playing right. He shakes his head. You can feel everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Well, when they turn, they turn on a dime. Yeah, I had one a couple days ago. It took every, every bit of 200, 250 yards. And it feels awkward because you're not used to reeling with, 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 your, with your right hand, where I've gotten used to it. I'm left-handed also. But um, when you do big fish, it definitely, uh, especially if you're going an hour, hour and a half, you know, like that big bull shark, you know. He's there. Oh yeah. What incredible sensitivity this line has.
good. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah. Easy five. Five and a half. Yeah. Break them off. Beautiful! Oh, nice job, man. <laughs> man, he fought hard. As the tide turned and started to head out, we decided to head for the gulf and set a chum slick. Nice shark, man. He's nice, nice shark. Nice one. Look at those five and six footer. He's mad too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this losing. You can just cut him off? No, I'll just pop him off. Good relief. Well, he trashed it pretty good. I like the way you popped him off. That's easy. You don't have to. Yeah, I mean, I use reasonably reasonable hooks and all. Nice okay. job, Curdy. Let's go get us another one. Okay. That's a big mullet right there. Chernobyl's. Mm -hmm. These guys have been nuclearized, you know. Been by the plant a few times. The wing. Better? Better? Bigger fish? I think so. <laughs> oh, he's still smoking. than the first one. He's a Got bad. seven foot, yeah.
Oh, he is? Yeah, he's so cool. Stop! <laughs> he gave up the ghost. Yeah, he did. Of course, we had him pretty deep. That wire right there. It's almost broke already. gaps between their teeth the wire just slides down between them and as they swim back and forth they end up just wiggling the wire back and and, and breaking it off and that's so, 100 pound right there huh yeah uh, 100 i think it's 120 but yeah i mean i don't use much more than that nine times out of ten you don't need it but with black tips just because of the way their teeth are even the heavier wire will uh will wear and kink and then they'll just work it back and forth single strand doesn't last half as long so yeah but uh, nice fish that was cool i loved it man Thanks. Another day full of fantastic fish and another page turns in the tales of the Everglades angler.